Shaders is probably one of the most, if not the most, popular Minecraft mod out there, but there are two ways to get it, primarily. One, Optifine. But this video is not about Optifine. As you can see in the title, it's about Irish Shaders, which is, in a way, a competitor to Optifine that basically allows you to get shaders in Minecraft without Optifine and while being able to get fabric mods as well. So in this video, we're going to cover everything from downloading Irish Shaders to getting Shaders packs for it and getting it all installed together so you can use Irish Shaders in Minecraft 1.20.1. Now, first things first, we need to download Irish Shaders. Let's go to the second link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Irish Shaders. It's a text tutorial. And if you like text tutorials, this is here for you. Otherwise, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Irish Shaders button to be taken to Iris's official download page. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on the Iris Installer Download download button with this download universal jar button here. When you click on that, it's going to download in the bottom left of Chrome. You may need to keep it in Chrome or save it on Mozilla Firefox. And while it's downloading, how about a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, we have high quality hardware, live chat support, an amazing help center to help you along with your server. And we support mods, mod packs, plugins, and customizing your server in any way that you want. We also, of course, support vanilla servers, and the goal is to make starting a Minecraft server as simple as possible. So that means you can select right and check out whether you want a paper server, you want mods on your server, forge your fabric, or if you want just a server with vanilla Minecraft on it. The choice is up to you, and it's all super simple and easy to use. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH if you want to start your server at the best place to do it. Nevertheless, Iris is now downloaded, so as you can see in the bottom left, it is complete. We also need to download a shader pack, or shaders packs, depending on what you want to get here. In the description down below, we have a link to the best shaders packs for 2023. These all work with Iris. I believe, I'm pretty sure 90% of them are. Some of them, for example, I don't know if Sonic Ethers does, but I know that BSL Shaders does. We can go ahead and download that. I know Makeup Ultra Fast does as well, and I believe that Yo FPS does. So all of these, I've clicked on all the download buttons in kind of rapid succession there. And then once we've done that, you can go ahead and click on Files if it's on CurseForge and download the version. Download the newest version. If it's not the 1.20 version, that is okay. You don't have to have a 1.20 version of a shaders pack for it to work. Uh, BSL shaders is a bit different. You need to select it here. And then you need to click Download. And then finally, Download via CurseForge or ModRinth. And then the download will begin. Makeup Ultra Fast, guess what? Similar process. We want to go to Files here and then download the newest version, which in this case is for 1.20.1. Once you've gotten all of your shaders packs downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Then we want to move all of these to our desktop. So we minimize our browser here. Let's go ahead and access our downloads folder using the start menu. There it is. And then we can move all of this to our desktop, uh, even though I think we're, are we missing BSL shaders? Did that not download? Hold on. It doesn't look like it did. There we go. BSL shaders is now downloading. And once that is finished, we can quickly move all of this to our desktop. Now to get started, we're actually going to be focusing on Iris here because, well, the shaders packs can't get installed until Iris is installed. So we move all of this up here right like so. We're going to get started with Iris. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. All you want to do is right click on Iris, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java or if your icon just looks different than mine, you don't have this Java icon here, what do you do? Well, you want to go to the description down below and you want to go to this link, which is downloading Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. And guess what? Shaders is a Minecraft mod. This guide covers everything you need to know to get it. Once you've got that, you may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to link up the jar files to your computer back to Java. This is what's going to fix the jar files not looking like mine. Nevertheless, let's go ahead, right click on Iris, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. That's going to open up the uh, Iris installer here where we want to select 1.20.1, click on install Iris and click on install right like so. Boom. Once it's complete, it's done. It is installed and we can go ahead and close out of the Iris installer. You can also delete Iris from your desktop. Now what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher, we don't want to just click play. We want to make sure we play with our Iris installation. Now, if you don't have an Iris installation here, the reason could be one of two things. One, you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before. If that's the case, go play it, close out of it, and then reinstall Iris. You may have also had issues if Minecraft 
or the Minecraft launcher were open when installing Iris. If that's the case, make sure both of those are closed, then go reinstall Iris. If you still don't have it, go up to installations at the top and make sure modded is selected. As you can see, we uncheck modded, it disappears, we check modded, and it reappears here. We have Iris and Sodium. Now, if you don't have this, still, there's no Iris and Sodium, what you want to do is click New Installation. Now, you can name the server you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the best place to start your very own Minecraft server. Then click the version drop down box here, and we want to select Release Iris Fabric Loader 1.20.1. Make sure it is Iris at the beginning and 1.20.1 at the end. Mine was at the top. You may need to scroll down to find yours. And then we want to go ahead and click Create in the bottom right. Now we have this new profile that says Iris Fabric on it. Click Play, click Play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with Iris installed. From here, it's super easy to add your shader packs. So I'll meet you on the main menu to get that done so here we are minecraft is open if we go ahead and navigate to options and then video settings we'll see everything is different that's good if we go up to shaders packs this is where we can add our shaders packs go ahead and click on the open shader pack folder here and then drag and drop any of the shader packs you want to install right here we close out of this there they are let's start off with bsl just go ahead and click on it and then click apply by the way if you do want to change any of your shaders options you can click the shader pack settings here and change everything including for example the profile that is used by default you can go into specifics here as well make sure you do click apply if you change any of those and then we can go ahead and jump in game so here we are we are now in game and shaders is active what's really cool is you can change your shader pack right in game by going into escape and then going into options video settings shader packs and then you can change it and actually kind of see what's going on in the background so we click apply here it's going to add in a new shaders pack in this case makeup ultra fast there it is looking good this is a lot less of a shader right there's a lot less going on but the clouds still look good volumetric all of that stuff we're going to get a bit better performance with it and then last but not least we did install yo fps shaders as well so we go ahead and click apply on that it'll reload and boom now this shader pack is installed and this one might not even be working honestly oh, nope it is you can see that stuff is uh, moving here uh in the wind that is shaders but yo fps is meant to be basically like very close to vanilla with very little shading in order to run on a high or a low FPS system, a, a worse system. As you can see, we're getting 60 FPS here. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and move back over to BSL Shaders as I thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. I make amazing Minecraft videos here and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. By the way, be sure to check out Simple Game Hosting if you want to start your very own Minecraft server. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. First link down below. See you in the next one. Peace.